Hey everybody, it's Jace with Marshall Med Collectibles, and today we have a very special review and unboxing. If you've seen some of my reviews in the past, I've already reviewed Mezco's 112th uh, Jason from Friday the 13th. I've reviewed Ash from Ash and the Evil Dead, and I've also reviewed their Michael Myers from the Halloween 78 figure. Um, this one I've really been looking forward to, and this is the Freddy Krueger from A Nightmare on Elm Street, and this is from the first film. What we have in front of us is the box. I went ahead and removed that plastic sheet that they have over it so there wouldn't be a glare on the camera, but let's go ahead and give this a turnaround while we'll take a look at the packaging. Uh, what you can see on the front, it does say Freddy Krueger, Nightmare on Elm Street. The pattern on the box is his sweater. Uh, you come to the side, it says 112th Collective, uh, says Pose, Play, Display. You got the Nightmare on Elm Street logo. You got Freddy's claws ripping through the side of the box. On the back here, what we have is everything that he comes with. You've got your Freddy Krueger figure. He has three uh, separate heads he comes with. He has four left hands and two right hands with the blades. Uh, you do have the stand, and you have a trash can lid. And then it just shows him in different poses. What I do like about this figure, too, is the hat is removable. Something Sideshow should have done for their 1-6 scale figure, but didn't. And then that's it. We have the same thing on the opposite side that we did before. Now, this is a slip cover, so let me go ahead and take the slip off. And what is revealed is you can see the figure in his little plastic prison down in there. Uh, other than the, that, the box is plain. It does say the one twelfth Collective on the side. On the back, you have uh, Mezco's uh, Roach um, a mascot, which I believe his name is Gomez. And on the side, you got the one twelfth again. Tops and bottoms are just the same. It says the one twelfth on there. And then the bottom, you have the legalese, if you can read it, in that gloss finish. But pretty much uh, all of their boxes for the inner box is all the same, which is a smart packaging idea, and I'm sure it helps cut down on cost, where the sleeve is the only thing that has the information on the figure. So if you give me just a minute, I will go ahead and take these trays out and we'll take a look and see everything we get with Mezco's 112th Freddy Krueger. Okay, when you take the trays out, uh, you have a bottom tray which has the uh, action arm or display arm which fits into the stand, which is great for figures that have like flying, jumping, or poses like that. And you do get the little bag, which you can put all your extra accessories in. And let's go ahead and open this up. And we'll come to, I think we'll do the trash can first, um, trash can lid. Really can't think I'm going to include this in any of my displays. I appreciate that they have that in there. It is from the first movie. Okay, now let's do the other accessories. To show these, I think the best way for me to do it, because if not, they're going to get lost in my hands, is I'm going to try pegging these on a rod so I can bring them up close. Okay, and the first one we have here is a fist. It's very nicely painted. Some great detail on there. Again, amazing amount of detail. Again, amazingly detailed, but I don't think this would be the one I would be posing the figure with. I take it it must have been cast in that translucent green and then painted to get that kind of color. Really clean paint apps. You've got the brass, you've got the brown leather, of course the silver, which is the blades. You've got that area in the hands that are is well painted as well. And I will do some HD close-up photos here at the end, as I always do in my reviews. And then we have the heads. The skull look to it, where he rips off his face. And what's neat about this one is that he does 
come with the face as well. And they will fit together. Very gruesome looking. But some very intricate sculpt work done by Mezco. The other one is more of an angry Freddy. Love this one. It's kind of got a snarl going on. We've got that smiling Freddy. That is just chilling. I gotta say, out of all their horror figures, and we haven't even got to the base of the figure yet, I really am loving this one. Just the amount of extra head sculpts make this a winner. Beautiful, beautiful sculpt work. And then we come to the figure itself. He's kind of got that stoic, stern look on this face. Not quite angry. I don't know. They're all beautiful head sculpts. Now, the sweater, like I said, is from the first movie. So he's got the stripes on the torso, but the sleeves are the red. I think that was one of my favorite looks for him. Now, in this scale, you really couldn't do an involved, uh, like uh, uh, a knit sweater and have it pull off. So what they've done is they've painted the stripes on or an applique. It looks really good, though. Uh, again, something Sideshow should have took note because they did theirs in a knit fashion, but uh, tried to dye the green on, and it made the stripes come out brown. And a lot of us that uh, customized figures ended up going in and having to paint those to get it that uh, kind of a Christmas green. Done a really good job. The pants are nice and uh, fitting well. They're the, the correct brown color. There's some really nice weathering on them too. Some nice weathering on the sweater as well. It's not clean. You can see some black smudges and it's like soot. Uh, this hand is more of a relaxed hand. That is very neat. The lower arms are even ate up and have that um, that um, scarring. I wonder if they did the same thing. For, yep, they did the same thing for this one as well. Again, you have the glove with the open This is a beautiful figure. We've got the really nice boots. Oh, the boots go all the way up past the ankle. They are on a pivot ball joint. So you do get some posability out of them. And a little bit of an ankle rocker as well. It is on the slimmer body. I think this is kind of like the body that they did for Spock. And then you have the hat. And the hat is molded in like a brown vinyl. It's got a little play, not a lot. It does have some nice paint effects on there it's for his fedora. And it does fit the figure extremely well, too. Wow, I I have zero complaints about this piece. And out of their horror line, this is definitely probably one of the best. You got the hat on, like the angry. Where you have it up a little bit. Smiling. <laughs> that, looks, that looks great. Yeah, even with a removable face on it, it fits perfectly on all of them. Like that. Very nice. So basically you have four different, actually five different looks if you wanted to have the face on or face off the figure. Um, lastly is the face. And it's a nice matte finish, not that heavy gloss finish, which I like that they're doing that. Uh, it doesn't show smudges. 
That is that is it's probably one of my favorite stands that they've done for them too. Really like that. Anyway, uh give me a second. I'm gonna go ahead and have him posed up and I'll give you my final thoughts and then we'll go into some HD photos. Okay, and I'm back and I'm absolutely loving this figure. Uh, Mezco really knocked it out of the park and whoever was in charge of overseeing the production of it truly loves these old horror movies from the 80s like a lot of us collectors do. Um, I know there's a lot of people that are into superheroes and the, the comic book stuff but there is a huge niche of us that are very much into the horror collectibles and it's been pretty much a glut in in that region we don't get a lot of stuff i mean we've got more and more stuff with the neca figures that have come out but like really highly detailed almost like even like in the one six we've gotten stuff every once in a while from three zero and sideshow but there's not a lot of uh out there to wet our whistle so i'm really glad mezco is doing this one twelfth line uh everything that they've done so far has been fantastic and this is no exception, but I really uh, adore this figure. I think they really went out, and it uh, it's an amazing piece. Now, if you hang back at the very end, I will have some HD photos so you can see some close-ups of him. If you're new to our channel, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe. If you've been with us a while, I really appreciate you being here, and it is really important to us that you do like and subscribe because it helps us bring you guys new content every week, which we're continually trying to do. So uh, with that said, I really appreciate you watching. This is Jace for Marshall Made Collectibles. Thank you and take care.